Hey everybody, I am going to do a foundation application video. Um, Smashbox Photo Finish Light. This is a primer. It's very important to use a primer, especially if you have oily skin, um, if you have wrinkles, or if you, you know, it evens out the skin tone and everything. So the important thing about this is not to actually rub it into your skin but to make it like it's kind of like a barrier over your skin so you're not rubbing it in like a lotion it's, just, it's supposed to be something that goes right on top and that's really the difference with when you wear it and I always put it down here too some people if you find it's too heavy on you what you can then do is um, only put it on areas where you're most oily like up here I actually need a little bit more So. I'm actually not in my regular location. I am in Atlanta, Georgia right now and so I don't have all my materials with me. I don't have, um, I'm actually here for work so I'm very limited with what I have. So you see I didn't really rub it in, you just kind of put it as a layer over your skin. When you rub it in that's more like a, like a, um, a lotion and you don't want to rub this in your skin just want it so that your makeup's going to glide better over it and it's going to fill in any imperfections on your skin. I like the 187 brush. This is the special edition because I because I'm traveling at home I use the other one. Um, and oh actually before I do this I use um, an anti-wrinkle cream on my eyes and I'm sorry I don't even have my regular mirror so I'm going to be looking all over the place. And I am um, 29 and I don't have any wrinkles and I think this is the time that you should be putting and I always put it up here too and whatever's left on my hands I put up here um, you should be doing this before you have wrinkles not after um, because prevention is really the key sorry this is actually too low because I'm looking in the camera I'm not looking in the mirror. Okay. I usually put this on before my primer. And before that, you cleanse your face, tone, um, moisturize. Then I put the eye cream on, usually either before or after my moisturizer. And you just want to pat with these fingers are the ones that um, get the least amount of pressure. So you just put a little bit on. Now, I put my foundation in this because I'm traveling, so I don't have the actual bottle to show you what I use, but it's the Studio Fix Fluid by MAC. So what I do is I make the brush, I just dip the white parts into the brush and get foundation on that. And then I start up here always, and I go in circles, so. And that's a lot of foundation. And you just go right in circles. You want to go out. Um, you don't want to go against the skin, you want to go out. And you can see it gives me a really nice coverage. Grab some more. So you stipple it on and then you kind of like almost buffing it but you're going really light in circles. And this is really hard to do like this. I don't have my normal makeup mirror like I do at home. I always wash this brush after each time I use it. So yeah, I know Makeover Vixen had a video saying that you really shouldn't do that and she's probably right, but I'm just afraid of bacteria and since I use this foundation brush every day pretty much, unless I'm using my mineral foundation or something um, I just I don't know because it's wet and it's using a liquid I prefer um, I would prefer that I clean it but you know I know it's abusing the brushes this is my first time using the short handle brush it's not as good as the regular 187 but it's not bad I 
I don't typically um, put foundation on my eyes because I put a lot of cream, uh, either UDPP or shadow insurance, and um, I put color all over my eye. But if you wanted to get into your eye, and what I don't like is sometimes this brush sheds, what you can do is start here and go in a circle and come down, and that'll get right into your eye. And then on this side, you go backwards so you can get in there. But I'm not going to do that. So you can see that this really gives me um, pretty good coverage versus the way my skin looked in the beginning, which is probably hideous. Um, please also forgive the spots all over. I tried switching skincare products and it didn't work. Next you have to set foundation after you do that. So what I'm just going to use is the NC30. Um, when I'm home, and I'll probably have to redo this when I'm home, I'll use a big fluffy brush or, um, and I use, um, the MAC Invisible Powder, or I use black powder that's loose, it's good for that, and I typically don't use the sponge that comes with this thing, but I'm going to do it today because I don't think I packed my other brush, I think I forgot it, so, okay, so what you want to do is you want to push and roll. just to press it, set it. And it's also going to blot it. If you have really oily skin, and then I just smooth it over. If you have really oily skin, the step I would recommend you do next would be actually um, to get a tissue and blot your whole face. And that's going to pull out any excess oil that's in your skin or in your, from the foundation. And as you can see, I'm not using a lot of this. Just a little. Smooth it. Be gentle when you go into your eye area. So you don't want like a cakey look, so. I forgot my under the eye concealer, but I would normally put that under here. So, blush is next.